This is Extra Basic Tarot. My name is Misty. My original tarot channel is Siren Tarot. That's where I usually do my pick a card readings, but I thought, what the hell? I'll do a pick a card reading at Extra Basic. I usually do the all signs readings here, but I've decided to start doing all my sex-based readings at this channel because this channel is not monetized. So this is sex with your future spouse. This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different options. This is option one. Option two. Option three. And quattro. Option four. As always, timestamps will be provided. Don't overthink it. Just take a deep breath and make your selection. If you chose the first crystal, here is your reading. Seven of Wands, say the Debostos. Nine of Wands, only the Debostos. Seven is Pisces, nine is Aries. Knave of Chalices, so the Decopas. Flipped the fuck out. Five of Wands, Cinco de Bastos. Four of Spades, Four of Swords, Quatro de Espadas. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Four is Aquarius. And then another four. Four of Wands, Quatro de Bastos. Okay. <clears throat> oh, forgetting. No mas. Ten of Spades, Ten of Swords, De of Spadas, Jack of Spades, Nine of Swords, Caballo De Spadas. And the King of Clubs, King of Wands, Ray the Bastos. So there could be an age gap here. I feel like this is your future spouse and this is you. So they could be a few years older. <clears throat> I feel like you are going to meet online. This is take three. I keep having to clear my throat. Um... I see you meeting online. I see this starting off as a long distance relationship and it's going to be a bumpy road when you first meet, when you first get together. There's going to be some conflict. There could be some blocking, unblocking. This is not smooth selling. This is not the energy of two people who just meet, fall in love and there are no complications, no drama, no conflict, just roses and lollipops and you get together and after six months of dating, courting, fucking, you get married. This is not that. <clears throat> could start off as third party. One or both of you could be in a relationship. You could be going through a divorce when you meet. Um, it looks like a very unstable on again, off again connection. To be honest, which I always am. Um, but once the two of you are together, once you are married, I do see really good, lusty sex and lots of it. I don't feel like either one of you are especially romantic. I mean, we have all this masculine energy. All we have for the feminine is the Knave of Chalices, Page of Cups. I feel like you're going to have one child together. So when you're having sex, you're not having sex hoping that it will result in a baby. You don't want a big family. I feel like you're both 
in your heads a lot. You could both be writers. I feel like you're both sapiosexuals. It's a meeting of the minds. You could have really strong Mercury, Mercury conjunct Mercury, Mercury opposite Mercury, but a meeting of the minds. You fall in love with each other's minds initially. That's the main draw. That's the main attraction. Um, you consider each other equals. So I see you having a small family, maybe one child at the most. Uh, you both are very protective of your privacy and you're very strict with your boundaries. This is not toxic codependency. You're both fiercely independent. And you could have two different rooms in your house. Maybe you sleep in different rooms, but I see you at least having different offices. And again, I'm getting the energy of two writers. So if you're not a writer, if you don't have a lot of masculine energy, if you are a warm and cuddly, touchy, filly kind of person, this probably is not your pile. Okay. <clears throat> this energy is not sweet. It's very strong. I can see the two of you starting a business together. I can see you editing manuscripts, maybe reading each other's manuscripts. I'm getting writer. I'm getting editor for pile one. A possible astral combo for your future spouse. They could have Sun and Leo, Aries rising, Moon and Aquarius. That's one possibility of many. You could have Sun and Aquarius, Gemini rising, Moon and Scorpio. There's a lot of talking during sex. Talking, intense eye contact. I'm not seeing cuddling. I don't see two people who just bask in the afterglow. <clears throat> I see shades of BDSM, but it may be difficult to decide who's the dom because you're both so dominant. All this masculine energy. But yeah, that's what I see for pile one. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. I am always available for private readings. I do this full time. All the info is in every box. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose the second crystal, here is your reading. Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros. The Lovers, Los Enamorados. The Sun, El Sol. Yeah, I don't read reversals. I have a few videos at Siren Tarot, my original tarot channel, explaining how I read the cards. I go more in depth at Patreon. All the links are in every box. Nine of spades, nine of swords, maybe the espadas, nine of pentacles, maybe the oros. Four of diamonds, four of pentacles, called to the oros. Ten of diamonds, ten of pentacles, deus the oros. Ace of diamonds, ace of pentacles, os the oros. And four of pentacles again. Okay, unlike pile one, this is a very different energy than pile one. Unlike pile one, I do see a lot of closeness. I see you and this person just clinging to each other. Um, there's a lot of togetherness. You're going to be together a lot. And there could be some jealousy. There could be some possessiveness. This is a blend, unlike pile one. I see the feminine and the masculine. So, what we have here, we have a lot of earth and some fire. Well, just the one fire card, the sun, Leo, but it's 
a strong fire card. It's the most positive card in the deck. So whenever I see earth combined with fire, I see lust. This is a very lusty relationship. Probably the best sex of both of your lives. Very strong sexual connection. Um, I'm not seeing strange sex or BDSM. I'm not really seeing any kinks or fetishes. I'm seeing vanilla sex, but it's yummy. You're both into it. You're both feeling it. There is a lot of eye contact, a lot of touching, caressing. I do see snuggling. I do see cuddling, which I did not see for pile one. Um, I do see you and this person fucking a lot and not really caring where you are. Uh, you could be fucking in public. You could be fucking on a train, on a plane, on a bus, in a park. There could be some exhibitionism for pile two. You're just both very comfortable with your bodies. Um, you're very comfortable showing affection in public. I see a lot of PDA public displays of affection. And this video just popped into my head, Drunk in Love, Beyonce and Jay-Z. So Beyonce is Virgo, Jay-Z, Sagittarius. You could have Sun and Virgo, Gemini rising, Moon and Taurus. That's one possibility of many. Uh, your future spouse could have Sun and Leo, Taurus rising, Moon and Taurus. But I do see terms of endearment. I see a lot of affection, a lot of warmth. Um, you know, some couples, you look at them and you wonder, are they even together? Because there's no affection. They don't hold hands. And they just seem like siblings almost. It's weird with some couples. Anyone who sees the two of you together knows that you're together. There's no mistaking how close the two of you are. And on social media, you see it a lot. Uh, I've seen it a lot where people will know that a couple is together. They know they're married, but they'll still flirt and shoot their shot. That's not going to happen with this relationship. People are going to know that they need to just fuck all the way off because you can't mess with this. This is a very close bond. Um, you make it evident on social media that you're together and you're crazy in love and you're not inviting any weird energy in. Uh, the gate is not open for other people to trespass. You are protective of each other. You're protective of this relationship. Again, it's probably the best sex of both of your lives. So yeah, that's what I see for pile two. Hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose crystal three, here is your reading. Queen of Wands, Reina de Bastos, Ace of Chalices, Ace of Cups, Osteocopas, and Knave of Pentacles, Soda de Oros. No, I don't read reversals. There's no need to read reversals. Everything you need, all the information you need can be found in the upright. I have a few videos at Siren Tarot explaining how I read tarot. I go more in depth at my Patreon. All the links are in every box. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups, the Copas, Queen of Spades, Queen of Swords, Reina de Espadas, and the King of Hearts, King of Cups, Ray of Copas.
So this is the soulmates pile. This is definitely a strong spiritual connection. That is rare to have Ace of Cups twice in one spread and to have the signifiers together like that. And there's another signifier, but yeah. Eight of Spades, Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas, Six of Diamonds, Six of Pentacles, Seis of Oros, and another signifier, King of Spades, King of Swords, Rey de Espadas. So you're not just husband and wife. You're not just lovers. You're best friends. You're cellmates. You could be collaborators. You could have a business together. You could be the muse. This person could be a poet, a musician, a writer. Um, they could be an artist. They could paint nude portraits of you. Uh, I feel like you could be a catalyst for this person's spiritual growth. Maybe they were never spiritual until they met you. You got them to meditate and fast and drink smoothies or some damn thing. Uh, maybe you meet on a spiritual retreat. Maybe you meet on one of those ayahuasca expeditions in the Amazon or something like that. Um, I see you bonding over plant medicine, maybe. Um, and this is random, this just popped into my head, but it could be when you first start talking, you bond because you've both had an NDE, a near-death experience. I just feel like this is very spiritually intense, spiritually electric. You probably have sun conjunct moon, which you see that with soulmates. So one possible astral combo for your future spouse, they could have sun in cancer, Aquarius rising, Moon and Leo. You could have Moon and Cancer. Cancer rising. Sun and Aquarius. These are just possibilities, but I feel like your synastry is off the charts. You're very close. This is very deep. This is the love of a lifetime. Um, you could have a kid together. Maybe one kid. I'm not seeing a big family, but... This is about sex with your future spouse. It's not about how many kids you're going to have or what your marriage is going to be like. Um, the sex is very dreamy. It's very romantic. I see mental telepathy. I see you fucking on the astral plane. I see you meeting up in dreams before you even meet in person. You're manifesting this person. If you've not met this person yet, if you're not with this person yet, I see you manifesting this relationship. You're calling this person into you. You are absolutely together in at least one previous incarnation. Um, and similar to pile two, everyone is going to know the two of you are together and they're not going to mess with this. People are going to respect your boundaries. They're going to respect this relationship. Um, I see a lot of kissing, deep, sensual kissing. And I see the kind of stage being set, which is very common when you're first getting to know someone. You know, you've got the candles, you've got the sage, maybe the incense, and it's very mystical and romantic and otherworldly. And there's music playing and it's just very lovely and romantic. There could be some food play for pile three, champagne, whipped cream, strawberries, melted chocolate, something like that. But the main thing here for pile three, it's not what sexual position you choose or, I don't get too graphic in the sex readings. It's more about the energy of the relationship, but um, it's just, it's very romantic because the two of you are so deeply in love with each other and you're so grateful when you finally find each other. So it's not really about a fetish or a kink. It's more about um, this deep abiding love you have for each other and the mental telepathy. And it's definitely spiritual. Um, and this is faded. So... If you're not in the best place right now, if you're feeling kind of, I don't know, kind of cynical because you've had 
a few less than wonderful relationships. This is waiting for you. This is beautiful. This is yummy. This is delicious. Yeah, that's what I see for pile three. Hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. I'll have those in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quattro, Pile 4, here's your reading. Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups, Reina de Copas. Two of Chalices, Two of Cups, Dos de Copas. The Moon, La Luna. Wow, this is already similar to Pile 3. More water, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Cups, Reina de Copas. Five of Clubs, Seven of Wands, Cinco de Bastos. Seven of Wands, Seven of Clubs, Cinco de Bastos. Jack of Spades, Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Four of Hearts, Four of Cups, Quattro de Copas. And to a diamond cinematical stos stewards. Okay, unlike pile three, this is a bit more challenging. Um, this is a spiritual connection. You're probably soulmates, but you've got some stuff to work through. You've got some baggage from previous relationships. There could be an age gap. You could be a few years older. I feel like this is you. You're the Queen of Cups. This is your future spouse, the Knight of Swords. I feel like you do speak different love languages. You're probably a lot more romantic and affectionate. You're a lot warmer than this person. This person's in their head a lot. It's a meeting of opposites. You could come from different cultures. Uh, maybe you come from a Christian background. This person comes from a Muslim background. You could come from different countries. There could be a language barrier. But there's no denying this attraction, and it's not just sexual, all this water. It's definitely romantic. I am seeing soulmates. Um, it's going to be a bumpy start, but once you get together, it's going to be really gratifying. I'm seeing closeness, emotional closeness. So... I feel like there's something here. I'm choosing my words, even though this is obviously for adults and this is a sex reading. And I'm doing it this channel because this channel is not monetized and I've had nothing but problems at Siren Tarot with the sex readings. I'm still being careful with my words. Um, This person definitely has a dark side. I am seeing BDSM. I am seeing a Dom. I can see them degrading you while you're having sex. They're saying things to you. They're saying degrading things. Maybe you enjoy that. I mean, I would hope that you would if this is your future spouse, but uh, yeah, really intense, dirty talk. And there could be some bondage. There could be some spanking. I feel like in the beginning, at least, this person is not going to be that adept at true intimacy emotional intimacy, they could be closed off. I'm seeing 50 shades of gray. Uh, they could be really closed off in the beginning. And the way they get their release is through sex. The way they get close to you is through sex, but they're not good at the whole talking about their feelings thing. Um, it's hard for them to take off the mask, so to speak, and truly be themselves. It's hard for them to be authentic because 
they come from a place where if this is a man, he had to always be in masculine mode. Uh, when he was younger, he might have been shamed for crying. He had to always be tough and stoic. Uh, he may have had responsibilities before he was ready for them. I'm seeing someone who didn't have much of a childhood, someone who was not that nurtured. And so they feel like they can't, they can't let go. They can't be silly. They can't really talk about their feelings. That's just not in their wheelhouse. That's not where they come from. I feel like this person is a survivor. Whatever they have, they fought for it. And so the sex is really intense. I see them being dominant. Um, they do have a pronounced shadow. They have a pronounced dark side. I do see them being jealous and possessive. Uh, they want you all to themselves. They don't want to see anyone flirting with you. Even innocent light flirtation on social media, they're not going to be cool with that. And, oh wow, this is taking a direction I didn't want it to take. I wanted this to be easy and fun. I wanted to just breeze through it. They could have a kind of vendetta against your ex. If you were badly mistreated in a previous relationship, I see them wanting to take some kind of revenge on your ex. And if you were married before and you have a child or children with someone else, it's going to be a challenge co-parenting because this person is so jealous and possessive. Yeah, it's about the sex, but I don't get too deep into the positions and the kinds of sex and all that. I just don't. It's more about the energy of the relationship. But I do see BDSM and I see this person being dominant. Did I call out a possible astral combo for this person? I don't think I did. Um, they could have Sun in Gemini. Scorpio rising, moon in Cancer. You could have sun in Cancer, Pisces rising, moon in Leo, just possibilities. This person is going to want to be with you a lot. They're going to want a lot of togetherness. Um, and maybe you're comfortable with that. Maybe you want someone that you're super close to. You want someone who's jealous and possessive. I don't know. But I'll leave it at that. That's what I see for Pile 4. And that concludes this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.